Hello guys, I'm the Anime Uprise, and today I want to talk about five reasons why Soda Online is bad. <laughs> yeah, I know I just made a video talking about why it's good. Well, I did mention a couple times that it wasn't perfect, and I do want to point out some other points. And I'm going to say first off, this video does sound a little bit unprofessional. It's going to be something different. It's going to be something a little unprofessional. It's going to be something a little bit more of a podcast like I won't be fully edited but I'm gonna try to edit most most of the ums and stutters and us out of the videos it's gonna be something like that before I want to I start with the video though I do want to mention something else I lost a subscriber today I was at I was at 40 now I'm at you know a good old 39 come on guys let's get that one subscriber back you know be nice I want to get um 50 by my, by my birthday, and I'm at uh, 39 right now, and, and by March 12th, I want to be at 50. <laughs> like I said before, it's not going to be perfect video. But okay, before I had the script, and now I'm just like, Alright, let's go, I'm pretty sure I could talk about what I don't, don't like about Soto Online pretty easy. And yeah, so, without making this video too bit of a long, too bit of a rambling, thing I'm gonna talk about rambling more in the next video so yeah anyways let's get us rolling on this five reasons why I hate Soda Online <laughs> number one I do want to say some of the characters can be a little bit annoying, like Silica, whatever her name is, pink-haired blacksmith girl, I can't even remember her name, but you know, something. They could be annoying at times and overdramatic, which is something that the series can be, be. something that can, the series can, you know, go be overdramatic, it can just be like that. It's something that... Honestly, I, I've had a bit much of, like, okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, example. Right after Blacksmith Girl, pink-haired Blacksmith Girl, goes out with Kirito to, on a quest to find the perfect metal for his sword, which is his darker pulsar, I believe. <laughs> and she comes back, and Asuna comes back and hugs Kirito. And she gets all mad and gets starts, like, saying, Oh, that was the man you were talking about. And runs out and starts crying under a bridge. Can you honestly tell me that any pe any actual person would actually do that? Would just go like, oh, so this person just randomly hugged the person I have a crush on. I'm gonna go cry under a bridge. <laughs> like what? Okay, that 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 was something that personally annoyed me a little bit, but it's not a really bad thing in the series. I just want to nitpick for the first one since I don't really have that much to say about what, what I hate her. So I'm, so I like the series more than I hate it, but I do, I do think it has some things that bother me. Okay, there's one thing. This one's pretty major. At first, if, at, at the starting of the series, you see the plot progression with now stuck in the game, have to fight your way out, get to the beat the game, get to 100, uh, 400. <laughs> Floor 100, you gotta get the floor 100. That's how you beat it, and you need the fight to get there. So, like, maybe episode 7, 6 ish, maybe. Asna becomes a major character. And right then and there, when they first team up together with, like, a duo team, that's when the series switches its goddamn focus. Becomes more of a romance anime than an action anime. When I first watched this anime, I was like, wait. Wait! Wasn't this an action shonen? Is that what it is? It's not a romance series. I didn't I didn't come for that. <sighs> and it personally annoyed me. Eh, it's just something that it bothered me for a while. Anyways, let's go to the next one. This is like number two with three. Wait, three now? Three? Next one is all the goddamn time skips. From the first episode, you get them you like get one real time first episode. Then from then on, every episode we do like a time skip, like a couple of levels, a couple of floors, going up and up. 
I bet if you didn't do the time skips, you could have made Minecraft its own 25 episode season. You could have did that. But no, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't, you didn't do that. You just freaking... You just, like, time skipped it out. You just time skip, time skip, time skip, going up, up, up. You could have stayed focused up, flushed out the characters a bit more. It would have been way better. But you didn't. You didn't do that, alright? So online. <laughs> I bet if you did, everyone would like you a lot more. And I want people to like you since I like you so much, so online, so you're, you're good anime to me. But you have a lot of flaws. <laughs> oh man, I, I really want, I, I know I'm just contradicting myself from the last video. The last video was saying this series is so great, amazing soundtrack, good villains, a couple, good villains. <laughs> no, 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 like the bodyguard guy. That guy was just a creepy stalker. Well, anyways, let's go to number four because why not? Number four. Huh. What is number four? Oh, yeah. Elfheim Online. In, in total. Okay. Okay. Elfheim Online. Mm -hmm. The one main thing about Soda Online was, you know, you go into a game, you can die in real life. Uh, it's not a traditional gaming series. But after so long, you're like, okay, let's put them in a game where you don't die when you die in the game. Make it a regular game. But that has no appeal to it, just like any other, like, isekai anime. At that point, you just go into the game, you play for a little while, you die, you respawn. No danger whatsoever, and all the other characters become over dramatic. They do all this other stuff, and it's like, okay, why are you yelling and screaming all over the goddamn place? Um, when you're just gonna respawn? Okay, first of all, I may want to say boss now, but you still have to be over dramatic, man. You just like, why? Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming like that? If you know, she's gonna, you're gonna, she has time, all right? It's not a life or death situation here. You're in a game. You're going to re respawn. You're not in sort of online anymore. It's not dangerous. <laughs> it's like, okay, man, you gotta calm down. Okay, next point here. It's like, okay, I'm gonna talk. Actually, I'll fall online. You can. Actually, I can talk about that more. I'll fall online, okay. And the wings, the characters, the incest. The characters like Leafa, oh god, okay, Leafa, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I didn't mind her character all that much because, you know, she had, um, the assets to, you know, be great, be great character. But the thing is, she loved her cousin. Not her brother, but she thought. No, she didn't think that either. It's just, 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 just the, in any way, shape, or form, that's wrong. <laughs> a cousin lover, alright? You're from the same family! And you're basically brother and sister, that's how you were raised and you still love, okay? Alright, mm-hmm. Okay, now! <laughs> I think in, in Elf Home Alone was like, the battles, the, the, the setting, it was all... Bad! <laughs> alright, next, let's go next, number five, you know, number five. Next. This this guy right here, this guy gets his own category. We're going for the final boss himself of Elf Hollow Nine, the final boss for season one of the anime. Uh Sugu, I think that's his name. You know the Rapist. Uh, you know the, the guy you know like who tried raped the uh, well tried to rape boss right in front of you know, when he was like on the ground, you know? That guy That guy <laughs> You know him? Yeah. The guy everyone hates, the mob villain, the guy everyone despises. That guy. <laughs> I really hate that guy. <laughs> He's my most hated villain. My most hated villain. He's the scumbag. <laughs> and main overall creepy stalker. Not like Kura deal. No, no, no. He's on a different level. He's like, he's like going up. He's like going, he's going up. He's like, he, he, he was like going to be raped, you know? Yeah. Uh huh. Wait, but <laughs> he, he was like right there, like when Austin was like he licked Austin in the face, tried to pull off clothes, you know, like all that stuff. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't get to see it, of course, but he did all that stuff. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah. 
I don't like Sugu at all. I don't, th I don't think anyone did. But, yeah. Okay. Well, that's that, anyway. That's that for that thing. And I know I've I talked about, you know, the tentacle stuff, you know, with the little alien things from Nas Not Escaped. But honestly, I didn't think talk about that. I could've talked about Yuri. I mean, Yuri. No, 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 no. It's, um, I talked about Yui being there. But I didn't mind that either. <laughs> I think, but, yeah. Uh, this series probably has a lot more I could say that I don't like about it, but... I want to keep my other one sort of valid. <laughs> this video just kind of, like, makes... <laughs> mm hmm. In math, isn't, like, positive times negative, like, it's still negative? I'm not sure. I don't think so. <laughs> but, dude, I, I could have said a lot more things. I could have said a lot more things. But I didn't. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So... So not online. Okay, if you want any more of these, like five reasons why this anime is good, five reasons why this anime is bad, um, you can have you can have more of these series. You can even suggest them in the comments if you wish. If you made this fun, the video, you can comment the, the thing, the thing, and you know, anime. And if I haven't watched it, I'll watch it, and I'll review slash rant about this thing. <laughs> So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just stretching it out. <laughs> Anyways, um, wait, why am, I, why am I making this video 10 minutes ago? Or probably because it, I, don't, I don't get paid out of revenue. I'm a small YouTuber with less than 40 subscribers. <sighs> I guess I'm trying to act a little bit more. Anyways, guys, I want to let you know that I have a gaming channel. And the Raging Snowball. <laughs> Fun fact, um, I use the Snowball Ice microphone. Yeah, you could probably connect the dots and how I've made that name up. You could, you could probably connect the dots that because, you know, I, I maybe have... I maybe have had a little bit of help from the Snowball here to figure out that name. <laughs> Terrible name, I know, but um, man, I game videos on there. I made a YouTuber's Life video recently, like, it uploaded the day of this recording. Link it'll be in the description. Do that now, subscribe, you know, go subscribe. And, but, but you know, subscribe here too, because I do anime content and I talk about anime. Like, Soda Online? If you hate Soda Online, leave a like. If you like Soda Online, leave a like. And if you like my videos, Leave a like and subscribe also. Maybe hit the bell right down there. And well, I've been the Enemy Uprise, and I'll see you guys all next time.